uh, as I have mentioned before that in PHP uh, basically we have four different type of loops okay what we are going to cover today is about a uh, for loop and the while loop we are not going to study about the do while and we are not going to study about the for each loop so let's start by the for loop for loop is a type of loop which can be used when developer knows how many times the loop must repeat itself for example if we know that a particular action needs to repeat itself 10 times and always and always it repeats itself for 10 times so a for loop is a good option to use okay the structure of the for loop is something like this okay uh, what we have in here is this inside the for loops parentheses we do need actually three attributes sometimes this three will be two i'm just going to show you that one as well so the first one is dollar i equals to zero let's say this is the variable which for loop is actually uh, related with then I am writing the condition the dollar i is smaller and equals to 10 so this is the ending condition when uh, this condition has been reached so the for loop will be uh, stop working and we need to make change of that related issue so what I'm going to do is this. I'm just going to simply say that echo dollar i and a break line. So what we have in here is this. Uh, we are going to see the numbers starts from zero and up until ten because I wrote in here EQ as well, and they will be counted. And every line it will be um actually having a break line space so once we run this application let's see how we will see it okay this is the second screen uh let me just go from here okay so as you can see from here it counts starts from 0 up until 10 and the 10 is given as well now uh, I'm just going to explain you two three different things about this for loop the very first one is this dollar i has been generated for loop okay it has been generated inside the for loop so if I call the dollar i at the outside when I save it, let's see what we will have it. Okay, I'm just going to run it. The 11 is in here. In most of the programming languages, you cannot retrieve it. But here in PHP, we are able to access it. Okay, uh, for example, if I just write in here, uh, dollar, okay, and let me write one more time that. Dr and again echo dollar i because there is no incrementation happening here again we will see the 11 there in most of the programming languages after the for loop has been uh, let's say stopped terminated you are not able to use those uh, variables later on okay but in here uh, yes we can the second thing what I want to show you is this okay so I'm just going to comment these lines in some conditions as I have told you the uh, first one the, the condition in here can be defined before dollar i as a to let's say five so in those conditions we do not declare the first part okay so in here once we save and try Sorry, okay, that's online five. Okay. Uh, 
unexpected tip for okay online six just a minute ah I forget this one so as you from as you can see from here uh, now I have defined the dollar i before the for loop okay so in like all the programming languages even after the for loop I'm able to still continue to use that variable so if I just try them here still I can see it okay that's again accessible uh, but that is not a good practice that is not a good practice to use that internal variable outside of the for loop okay uh, in for example the case while you are developing an application in your local host behaves different when you upload the uh, let's say the PHP file into the internet okay so you should obey the general rules of the uh, let's say common disciplines so in that case it is better to use this approach if you are going if you are willing to access that variable outside of the for loop okay this is the first thing listen here the second thing is okay let me just command these lines we have we have two uh, ways to control the flow of the um, loop one is continue other is break now I'm just going to explain those things let's say again we are studying about the for loop for dollar i equals to zero and the dollar i is smaller and equals to ten and dollar i plus plus uh, let me show you one another stuff then I will continue if I write in here echo dollar i br the difference between this line and this line is the curly braces so if you have only one statement line after the for declaration that line will be executed exactly like uh, the if conditions were running having only one statement line so if I save it and try it will be listing me the numbers and if I write in here one more line for example if I write in here one more line that is okay going to say end okay so in this case hence it looks like related with the for loop hence it looks like related with the for loop because I don't have the curly braces surrounded around those lines only one next immediate line will behave 10 times but the line which is coming next will be printed only one time means what instead of 11 okay now here if I try it it comes in here end eventually okay but if you surround the both of the lines with the curly braces if you surround the lines with the curly braces once we run the application now that end also repeats itself that much numbers okay so that is also another behavior of the for loop okay let's go for the uh, flow controls I'm now going to copy this we have two type of flow controls one is break other is continue now I'm just going to write a line for the break as first I am writing in here that if the dollar I is accused to 5 means that once the dollar i reaches the number 5 so make a break break terminates the for loop okay so 
It checks 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, up until 4 there is no problem, but when it became 5, now it says that the break, if the break condition has been reached, the lines after that uh, condition won't be operated and the for loop will be terminated. Means what? If I save this and if we just try it, it tries the numbers up until 4. The remaining numbers are no more exist. Okay? We have another one uh, which is continue. If we write in here continue, In this case, once that condition has been reached, only for that cycle, only for that cycle, the loop will terminate at once and it goes up and then continues to working like nothing happened wrong. Okay, means what? Now if I save and try this one, here we don't see the 5 because the 5 or printing the 5 to the stage has been skipped okay so this is the way how the continue works for example for this application let's see the even numbers and let's see the odd numbers okay so what i'm going to do is very simple i'm just going to write in here if dollar i mode 2 is equals to zero if dollar i mode two is equals to zero continue means don't write them what if the reminder is one one three five like such so if it is the old numbers we will see it okay let's yeah let's see this condition now we will see only those odd numbers. If you would like to see only the even numbers, so again the process is very simple. We just need to say that, now don't write the odd ones. If it is odd, just continue, ignore it. Else, so write it. Okay, so in this case, we will see the numbers starting from zero up until 10, but those are the even numbers. So we can just simply separate the cases like this. So what about if you write the 11? Uh, if you would like to write the 11, if you would like to write the 11 inside the for loop because of the condition is ignoring the odd numbers, you won't able to write it. What you can do is you can just write after the uh, loop. Okay? So what about if you did the outside? Huh? The outside. So if you did the outside, it never cares what happened in the for loop. For loop is, uh, let's say, it's own ministry. They, they do everything what they like, okay? For which case, I couldn't get the point. Uh, look, this condition, what you write, is about the for loop, okay? So if you write something else in here, it has no interaction with here, so it will be written. Okay, let's try for example. Oops, sorry. Here is 11. Okay, because it has no deal with what happened in the for loop. Now, uh, we have seen the for loop, uh, and let me just show you an effect of a for loop. Uh, why we use the for loops. As I told you before that the for loop is the condition which can be used when the developer knows how many times an action repeats itself. Okay? So let's see an example now. Okay. The example is this. Let's say that you are going to build an application and in that application uh, you are going to collect the years of birth of people, okay? So you made a select option condition, okay? Select name, uh, year of birth, and here is the select. And the 
uh, let's say let's say range is starting from 1900 till 2015 okay so I'm just going to write in here option value uh, 1900 and it is 1900 and I close the option now I'm just going to copy it okay if you are not uh, if you don't have this fundamental understanding of the four so what you should do you need to write the year starting from here sorry yeah here even while now I am writing I'm making making the mistakes and you can just simply understand that uh, it's not an easy process okay one two three four five six and seven and I should be continue writing this from 1900 to 2015 and that's a time consuming process so as a developer if I know that how many times this loop should continue so I can use the for loop all right so what I'm going to do is this I do realize that these all lines which are in here repeating itself but only these numbers are changing so what I do is this I do delete these lines okay and I'm just taking this option in focus now what I do is this I open a PHP sorry I have opened the PHP tag and inside this PHP tag I wrote my for loop my for loop is working related to dollar i and that dollar i is starting from 1900 okay and that dollar i will continue up until it get equal to 2015 and the dollar i should be increased by one uh, one by one okay and this for loop must contain what must contain this one okay so that's why i am now surrounding the option by starting of php and closing of php so in here i'm just going to close the php tag so what I have done in here, uh, actually I have developed a select and option case in here, starting from 1900 till 2015. Let's see what we have done. Let's see what we have done. When I save it, uh, if I refresh the page, here it is. When I hit it, all right, we have them, but they are all 1900 because we haven't changed the content. Okay. If you look at our coding, it is repeating itself as it is. So what we need to do is this. We need to change these 19 W places as well. So I'm just going to write in here PHP. Okay. And I'm just going to echo in here the dollar I. So whatever the dollar I is in that case, so be that one. I'm just going to copy this one now. That's about the variable and I paste it in here so in this case let's see what we have done so far once I refresh the page here they are it's counting okay and that is saving me from lots of and lots of and lots of copy and paste and corrections one another good point is this okay you develop this application in this manner after two months uh, your let's say boss told you that uh, this is not logical it shouldn't start from the 1900 it should start from 2015 and go back to 1900 so in previous case you should be correcting them again one by one with your uh, let's say manual editing but now because we have done it by the for loop if I just go for uh, the coding page here it is so I can just say that no you don't start from 1900 start from 2015 and go to uh, 
19 double here it is and I'm just going to make it greater than an accused to and I should make it decreased okay when I save and see hurrah we done it okay and let's say okay let, let me just make one more addition in here and the boss told you that in 2000 make it selected automatically okay that is all inside a for loop so there should be written selected when it reaches the 2000 okay so what I will do is this the selected case should be written in here okay should be written in here but if I write in here selected they all will be selected and that's not logical yes. so what I need to do is this I need to say that again I should open a PHP tag in here and I say in here that if the dollar I is accused to 2000 so echo selected okay so in this case if I run the application it makes the 2000 selected automatically even though it's in the middle of somewhere so could we put a search button on it? Uh, search is a different type of behavior but, but yes we can okay so uh, here we have the behavior of the for loop now what we are going to do is I'm just going to explain you the while loop then the courses will be over for today because I'm going to let you study for the practice exam of yours okay now uh, sign for two columns okay now let's go for the while loop let's go for the while loop so I'm just going to uh, duplicate it okay okay listen here while loop is again a looping process means it again repeats a sort of action until it is not successful okay uh, but the difference between the for loop and the while loop is uh, can be simply told in this way if the developer if the developer doesn't know how many times the loop should process it is better to use the while loop means what for example while you are trying to sign in let's say the hotmail okay does the hotmail developers knew that you will enter your password three times and you always sign it no they don't for example go and try the hotmail page write something as email address something as as your password try it how many times you try it always warns you okay because it had set the condition that while it's wrong show this page otherwise okay let him in okay so if your page or if your uh, logic is running related to some external variables like the user behaviors that is better to use the while loop in that case okay uh, so the while loop is actually a loop which had been broken pieces in the for loop, all of the three concepts starting, ending, and incrementing and decrementing and changing the states were given in the parentheses. But for the while loop, we broke those lines. Means what? 
we do write our uh, related variable before we go for the while loop. Okay, in here the dollar i equals to zero has given before we go to the while loop. Okay, and then we write in here the while loop. Okay, here we write the condition. Okay, the condition is dollar i smaller than equals to ten, and we wrote the incrementation and decrementation inside the parentheses. This might be your very first mistake when you are building the while loop, forgetting incrementation and decrementation. So uh, focus on here that you must be increment or decrement that related variable or change the condition of that related variable inside the curly braces of the while loop. So here we are. Uh, let me just simply echo uh, okay sorry echo dollar i uh, dollar i that also would work but I'm sticking in the same pattern how I was making it okay so let us run the page now it is loop 2 it's loop 2 and here it is, it still counts as it was counting in the uh, for loop as well, okay? Now, what I'm going to show you is, you're not supposed to increment in such uh, independent lines. If you would like to increment, you can increment in here as well, okay? That prints and increments, prints and increments. So, this won't make any problem too. Now, yes. now not infinite because after we write it, we are incrementing it in the same line. Okay, but if we don't, if we didn't write it, now if I just try it, now it is infinite. Yeah, uh, it, it starts actually spinning and spinning and spinning like this, and if we just go, you will see plenty of zeros. Uh, most of the servers. Uh, have a sort of precaution for this condition uh, because servers, listen here, servers serves plenty of different hosts, uh, different, let's say, uh, guests, different users, uh, it's a machine only. Uh, that's why they put a sort of precaution that if a loop repeats itself more than this second, so terminate it. Okay, so uh, for example, even if I just turn, start the page, uh, in here it runs, but in the PHP config, there's a statement about it, if I'm not mistaken. So, uh, the point in here is, if you forget that incrementation or decrementation, I mean the changing of the state, uh, you will fail in this way. So, what we need is, we need to write here plus plus, okay? So in this way, it will be just printed it, okay? Now, uh, while loop is not behaving same as the for loop did in terms of using the continue and break, okay? So inside the while loop, inside the while loop, if you say that if dollar i mode 2 as accused to 1 let's say con okay continue okay if you write like this and if I save the page when I refresh it it's not running see it's spinning but not not working properly okay continue and uh, break are not working fine inside the while loop okay so uh, let me write in here okay something like that if dollar i equals the five okay it is the six uh, break okay the break works fine in here but the continue The continue is not that successful okay now 
Uh, let us just build a small and simple script or a, uh, let's say a simple line of code which makes this for while loop uh, be functional okay now what I'm going to do is this I'm just going to see a header statement okay it's going to be something like this h1 and I'm saying that header 1 and here is the h1 what I'm going to do is this follow here I'm just going to keep this incrementation in here and I will just stop pass the PHP and continue the PHP from here and I'm just going to put my header tag inside here so what I'm planning to see in here is I will see 11 header ones printed okay so let's see that not surprisingly here they are okay but the headers as we know that header tags are starting from 1 up until 6 so I'm writing in here 1 and I'm writing in here up until 6 now if I run this not surprisingly I will see header ones starting from 1 till 6 okay same but same in size exactly so if I just refresh it here they are what I'm going to do is now these ones are going to be related with my variable so yeah what I'm going to do is this I'm just going to open a PHP tag in here and I'm writing in here echo dollar I okay and wherever the one is written wherever the one is written I'm just changing them into this okay so when I save this page and once we try it here they are because I have changed the tag as well so I am able to list now the tags starting from header 1 till the header 6 and getting smaller not surprisingly if you want to reverse the action it's also possible that I will start from 6 it will go up until 1 okay and now I'm just going to write it in here minus minus so let's see that here it is starting from 6 till 1 okay so uh, what we have studied for this course is enough for this lesson